Hi and welcome to Good News Farming. Um, today's video is more of like, uh, I guess, uh, what I do on an everyday basis. Um, how I start the day um, with milking the cow, stuff like that. Um, there isn't really much to talk about. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm new at this. I don't know how to do this very well. Um, so I guess I'm going to narrate this video um, and I'll see how it goes. Um, I just pray and hope that Father will guide me through this and give me the Holy Spirit to help me uh, make this video and, and um, complete it in a good way. So I usually walk to the barn every morning like people usually do and then um, well one of the first things I do is play with our dog Sara she's a really fun dog to be to have it's so weird man I'm, I'm talking my brother my brother's here with the with me in the recording and um, I'm just it's just really funny and awkward um, so, I don't know. Yeah. That's a lot of food right there. Yeah. Cats love that food in the morning. Yeah. It's almost at the ball. <laughs> but I don't, man, this is so weird. I don't know. I had an idea for this video. That maybe, you know, doing the recording and stuff like that um, after. Because it would obviously be really weird if I didn't have a recording or anything like that. So, <coughs> I did kind of try to do it really cinematic. Um, my brother, you know, thank God that I have such an amazing brother to be able to edit my videos. Um, he does an amazing job. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without him. Um, so I feed, uh, in this, uh, at this time, there was, uh, a little days, um, it was a Holstein cow that we were feeding, a calf. Um, she's outside already, um, but at the time of this video, um, she was in there and that's why I was putting hay over there. Um, so this is our milking station. Uh, my amazing dad has uh, constructed it. Um, it's just an addition that we did to the barn. Um, he put tiles and everything like that. It's just, you know, it's so beautiful and it's just such an amazing thing to have. Um, and it makes milking a little more sanitary and, and uh, just overall better. Um, we got a milking machine. I don't remember where my mom bought it, um, somewhere online, it's some kind of those uh, off-brand Chinese knockoffs or whatever. Um, it doesn't do a bad job, but, you know, if anyone wanted, wants me to make like a, um, like a, si like a six-month or whatever, oper uh, what is it called, review video on it, um, I, I will, um, but, you know, it's working, but... I wouldn't say that uh, it's the best machine. You know, you get what you pay for um, when you get Chinese knockoffs. Um, this is uh, the feed. Uh, we feed her alfalfa pellets. Uh, Miranda. Miranda is the cow. Uh, this is the feed for the cow. Um, and it's just milled barley and milled oats. And then uh, we let it soak overnight, kind of ferment a little bit and uh, then we just give that to her um, I usually first I start off with taking the bucket filling it with a little bit of hot water some uh, teat wash that my wife has made um, some kind of uh, essential oils and stuff like that and um, she comes in and then I wash her teats and I milk her with the machine. Afterwards, we end up. Uh, she's, yeah, she's a thing. She's big. 
Yeah, so, um, <laughs> and then when, uh, when I'm done milking her and stuff like that, um, I just usually come back to this also awesome kitchen that, you know, my dad made. It's just, uh, you know, one of these days I'll make a, a tour video of our, our barn and stuff like that. And, um, it's just the, the amount of work my dad put into it is just, it's beautiful. Um, so we strain out the milk, uh, to get anything out. I usually use the, like the things for milk, uh, to strain the milk. Uh, once we get that done, I just bought, um, I put it into jars. Once I got it into jars, and then we put it in the fridge, and then we drink it. Um, we like to make cheese. We like to make, uh, butter. Um, my mom likes to make a lot of Polish, uh, uh, cheesecakes that are delicious out of the farmer's cheese. Um... There's uh there's a lot of uses for for milk and rice pudding. Yeah, it's a it's a big one. We love rice pudding. Um and then there is just you know it's just uh you know, we're truly blessed to have uh such a good and healthy cow and she produces uh you know, quite a milk uh, she produced quite a bit of milk for us. Um she produced about uh two gallons every time we milked her so you know in this in this video i think she did three three jars in this milking she's already started to um decrease in milk production because we're drying her out um because we are she's due in march it is late january now so we gotta have to dry her out about uh, like 60 days before uh, so we're already starting to milk her just um, once every two days so that um, so that she dries out and we've been feeding her less and we're she's off of grains already so now she's only getting about two and a half jars every time we milk her every two days um, then you know we have a little bit of uh, then I'm after that I wash the machine clean up and everything like that and then later on in the day you know I do some cleaning over there by uh, Miranda's where she's outside um, usually clean up after her overnight she usually makes a little bit of a mess so we want to keep it all clean and stuff like that and so we clean it all uh, up once that's clean you know she's a happy cow so now, what else? Um, you know, I just clean it up. We put straw. We got a local guy that uh, we get nice straw from. Um, we feed, usually fill up her water. You know, now it's like the part where I just I'm awkwardly standing there. My brother was laughing at me because it's just such a weird part of the video. So and, uh, <laughs> so now. Um, yeah, that's me awkwardly standing still. Wow, that's, that's long. We should have fast forwarded it more. So, uh, you know, here comes the big pile of doo-doo. Uh, we love it because, uh, we got pasture in the back. We got eight and a half acres. So, um, we have quite a bit of pasture in the back. So, you know, any extra poop that we got, you know, we love it um, because it, it just will spread it in the back and it'll just fertilize everything just in so many amazing ways. Just another amazing thing that, you know, the Father has put into creation that just makes everything so good. Uh, we're truly blessed to have a tractor. Um, this thing helps so much. It's uh, unbelievable the amount of work that this thing can do. Um, you know, just tall and poop and wood and everything. It's just such an amazing thing to have. And, you know, I'm truly grateful that uh, we have the opportunity to have one. Um, so, you know, me, usually I clean this thing out. Um, now, Lily, the Holstein... Um, she's a Jersey. Miranda's a Jersey, and the um, the other one is a Holstein. 
So, um, we usually, they're out there together now, so there's probably just a little bit more poop than usual. Um, but usually I drive it out every couple of days or a few days or so. I usually let a little pile form and then, and then I drive it out. Um, you know, so... You know, I didn't put the camera there, uh, you know, stably, yeah, or stable, stably? Is that how you say it, stably? Stable. No, I think, yeah, I didn't put it on a stable um, thing, so it was rocking back and forth. It was really rainy that day. Uh, the camera started to fog up a little bit. The two dogs, uh, the little one on the left, the one that just ran away, that's Sara. Um, she's a mixture of I don't know with I don't know. Oh, there you go. Australian Shepherd with Poodle. That's what my brother said. And then the white dog that we have over there, um, she is, her, na her name's Aza, and she is a Polish Highlander sheepdog. Ofczarek Potalański is how you say it in Polish. Um, she came from Poland. Um, a, a, a friend of ours, uh, was able to bring her while he was coming back from Poland from vacation. And uh, so, you know, she's a really good guard dog. A very awesome alarm. Um, you saw me adjust a little bit over there with the tractor. I, I, I think I hit the pole that time when I was backing up. So it's just a funny th uh, thing. So then, you know, I guess I did like a few loads or whatever. And, um, there isn't really, you know, it's not very eventful uh, on the farm. It's pretty much routine, but, you know, I figured I'd share these kind of videos and stuff like that because, you know, this is for people that, you know, are looking to maybe in the future uh, get a farm and kind of be uh, self-sufficient and, and just kind of provide for themselves and, you know, and there's just, you know, a lot of stuff that goes in that isn't very glamorous, where you just have uh, a lot of just chores and stuff. And yeah, sometimes it's a nuisance, sometimes it's, yeah, but, you know, it's really rewarding uh, taking care of these animals and, and um, you know, it's gratitude and everything is just so important. And I wanted to thank everybody for watching. I think I ran out of time. So, um, I wanted to thank everybody for watching, and uh, may the Father in Heaven bless you and your families. Um, have a great day. Bye.